Let's proceed with the next uh, resource type, which is Kinesis and SNS. So it's very, Kinesis is very quick. It will be very quick. I'll just show you the code, how it is. We just, for Kinesis, what we, what we actually need uh, for creating a Kinesis uh, type is just a stream name, that's it. And the mode details and the tag, that's all we are going to create. Now, before that I go there, I'll, I'll destroy this. Sorry, I'll have to exit. Uh, out of this, come back to my local machine. I was still on the AWS console. <clears throat> and I'll say Terraform destroy. Okay, I'm in the key pair directory. So I have to go back to the original directory and now I'll run destroy. Now, while this destroy is running, you will, if I come back onto my EC2, right now you'll see one instance is running. You have one instance and you have three key pairs, three security groups and one volume. Now, once it is destroyed, everything will be gone, okay? Done. So it says six resources destroyed. So we had key pairs, we had security group, we had we had instances running, everything is gone. Now if I just refresh this, and there you see instance is running zero. Now it shows one instance, but it will be in a terminated state, right? So this terminated state will remain and automatically this will get deleted. So you won't be charged by AWS if the resource remains in a terminated or a stopped state. Okay, so you are safe with that. But however, remember, if you are done with your work, don't leave any resource in running state. Your AWS will continue charging you on your account. So be careful and be mindful of that. So once you're done with that, make sure you don't forget to destroy all the resources. Okay, so I'll clear this now and now I'll go back. And now let's go back to our code and I'll create another file over here, which is Genesis.tf. Now I I'll just show you over here what so resource name I'm going to use AWS underscore kinesis stream. This is what I'm going to use. And you can choose to give any name over here. I'll just use kinesis stream. That's it. Okay, that's all. Now there is something one parameter that I would like to show you. So this name, I keep it as Kinesis Demo Stream, just for the sake of proper identification. There's something known as shard. Now this shard is not the one that we have in database, right? Those shards are different. Not that shard talks about the physical aspect. Here what it talks about, the virtual aspect. So the, you at least need to have two shard counts for a stream to run, right? Otherwise, if you, so in a stream, you'll have one stream. Within one stream, you'll have two shard counts. That's how it is. So, and when you stream data from Kinesis, from either of the shards, will have each of the shards will have certain capacity and a timeout parameter. And based on that, the shards will perform, right? For that, you need to refer to the AWS documentation on how Kinesis works in detail. However, for this video, that is not in scope. So I'll quickly finish this off. And uh, another thing that I need to do is just two things earlier, the mode and the tags, that's all. So I'll just copy paste that, nothing much we have to do. That's it, that's all I have to do. Clear, and I'll define an output, that is very important. Again, I showed you the output, why output is required. So in this output, I'll just say output, uh, We'll say Kinesis ARN is what we are going to use as a name. Description Kinesis Data Stream ARN. 
and the value will be AWS minus stream and we are going to use the ARN on that. So ARN. That's all. Now let's go back and we'll we don't have to initialize again, like I said, we can just run the plan. And then apply. Here you can see ARN. Now you can see ARN. Once this is applied, you'll be able to see the value there. Probably we might have an error on the role name. Okay. Now the stream is getting created. So EC2 is done. The stream is getting created. So let's go back and refer back. Uh, EC instance one. Let's refresh this. You see three key pairs again, three security groups. We have two instances now. Why two? Because one is terminated and other is still in the pending state because this is still running. You see this EC2 server still creating. So that's still running. We'll wait for it. Now you can go to Kinesis and you can check there. You'll see the stream getting created in there. Yeah, you see Kinesis demo stream. This is the name I'd given Kinesis demo stream. Here it is, Kinesis demo stream. All right, so that's how Terraform works for Kinesis. Thank you for watching, guys. Next, we'll see how the SNS and S3 bucket works on Terraform.